the Center for African Liberation and Social Economic Rights, CASA, has raised an alarm over alleged ploy by some disgruntled elements to blackmail the chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Gala. Speaking at a press conference on Monday in Abuja, Convener Professor Thomas Souza said, All teams are on the prowl, seeking the head of the Naval Chief for thwarting their illicit business. The allegations of corruption, crude, oil theft, and procurement fraud leveled against the Chief of Naval Staff are a manifestation of the slander campaign orchestrated by those whose illicit businesses have suffered setbacks as a result of the improved operational efficiency of the Nigerian Navy since the appointment of Vice Admiral Emmanuel Gala as the Chief of Naval Staff. Oil thieves are on the probe, seeking the head of the Chief of Naval Staff as a means of getting him out of the way so that they can continue with their illicit trade. The allegation that the Chief of Naval Staff received monies in exchange for granting passage to vessels loaded with stolen crude oil remains a figment of the imagination of the promoters of the story. It must be noted that the tangible gains recorded by the Nigerian Navy under the watch of the Chief of Naval Staff go down in history as one of the best errors in the annals of the Nigerian Navy. The introduction of cutting-edge technologies and the deployment of competent commanders and officers to, to key naval installations across the country have contributed in no small measures to the fight against criminals and criminal activities on the nation's territorial waters within a short period. We wish to use this medium to call on the Department of State Services to detribe capable to detribe capable of undermining the tangible gains recorded by the Nigerian Navy in addressing crude oil theft in the country. The promoters of this campaign of calumny must be identified and brought to book if we are desirous of making progress as a country. Given that the major source of revenue is crude oil, there is no doubt that those behind crude oil theft have resources at their disposal to undermine the efforts of the Nigerian Navy. As such, they must be identified and brought to book. We also wish to inform members of the general public to be circumspect about news stories about the Nigerian Navy. These are the handiwork of enemies of the country who have been diverting the commonwealth of the people. The efforts of the Nigerian Navy in recent times is such that has contributed immensely to socio-economic growth and development. As such, it behoves well-meaning Nigerians to support the Nigerian Navy at this critical point of our existence.